Luke and Meredith really had a, an idea for a way of life. The original home was always had a beautiful foundation. It had that lovely 1890s facade and that's what drew us to the home. But the original home was also at the back end, just a series of lean-tos, a lean-to on a lean-to. Mm. It just, it was so dark and kind of, you know, subdued and you felt trapped. Luke and Meredith came to, to me and we started talking about the project and what they wanted out of the house. They also came with this wonderful collection of imagery and there was kind of a theme that connected all of them. Absolutely beautiful light, very clean, very stripped back, great sense of materiality. So mm. even though it was quite minimal in the detailing that they were were interested in just kind of an honesty in the materials. Yeah, and I think also the other the other two items were the light field space and the seamless um, interior moving on to the exterior was also part of an important theme, wasn't it? That's right. From an orientation standpoint, the house is really ideal with the backyard facing north. The essence of the project is about everyday pleasure. So pleasure in the use and experience of the house. And that's seen through different moments in the house. For instance, as you come in through the main entry corridor, you, you come down the heritage original corridor, and then that corridor space opens up into a vestibule, which is a space for Luke to park his bicycle. And then that connects you then to the new spine of the house, which is actually set slightly away from the wall so that we could insert a, a wall of joinery, sitting. Bay, sitting. Yeah. The house itself on the ground floor, it was really kind of designed to fulfill their daily activities where the front two rooms can be used as their their workspace or their, their hobby space. And on the upper level, it was sort of designed more for their retreat. One of the things that Luke and Meredith were very interested in is a, was a strong architectural form. The opportunity for, for the expression of that form really was in the upper floor of the house at the rear. We created a gable-ended shape, which cantilevers just a little bit out above the first floor, and that provides that ideal shading to, to the living room below. And I think there's also a certain level of transparency as well being incorporated into the design of that overhang, the combinations of the vertical timber blades on the upper level and the, the grating balcony floor. There's presence, but there's also lightness to it, which mm. is very uh, lovely balance. That's mm. Very poetic, mm. very poetic um, balance. We really wanted to make the circulation of the house memorable. So there are a number of moments. There's the threshold as you cross into the new house. There are opportunities to sit down all throughout the house. And then there's that moment of ascending or descending from the first floor. As um, Luke and Meredith were interested in form and sculpture, we created a double height void and inserted a spiral stair in that space. And there was a great opportunity to mm. bring in light through that upper floor so it brings light straight into the center of the home. Over that process of moving in and getting ourselves settled, that we were finding all of those little thoughtful touches that make life easier. Compared to in the old house, it was full of everyday hassles. Mm. And in the new house, it just gently scaffolds your day and helps you along without you even mm. thinking about it or realising it. The house isn't about ostentation, it's really about simplicity and being honest with the materials. So it's a very simple palette really of concrete, the soft white and then timber elements. So just, you know, very simple, very neutral backdrop 
that then Luke and Meredith can personalize and really to, to claim the space and then make it their, their own, make it their home. I think Rocket loves the house more than we do. He's got a very tight schedule throughout the day. His, his job is to follow the sun and to be warm and comfortable. So he'll normally start the morning on the couch with Meredith having a coffee and a, and a little cuddle. And then he'll move upstairs to get the, the sunlight from the east. It's warmed up the, the second level and the sun sort of comes around to the back. He'll go on the couch and, and sit in the sun. And then back upstairs as the sun moves to the west. He's, uh, he's obviously very comfortable here and he's got uh, endless options for, for being, uh, being you know, comfy and, and warm and, and relaxed. I really vividly remember our first night here. We actually got the keys to the house and we couldn't contain our excitement. So we had some friends around, we had uh, Wilson and Alady and Cliff around just to delight and the, uh, celebrate in the space. Yeah. And we actually weren't planning to move for another week, but we couldn't tear ourselves away from the house. Yeah. So we actually went and got the blow up mattress yeah. and we spent the night upstairs with no furniture, and yeah. no anything, but it was so delightful uh, yeah. regardless. Yeah, we kind of looked at each other and we both knew yeah. We're not sleeping at the rental tonight. Yeah. I'll go get the blow up mattress and I'll be back yeah. in 20 minutes. And it, yeah, it was really lovely. I mean, it felt, it felt homely from you know, that first night. 